week we're here today we are talking about i just wanted to give you another update so what have i done i have my own farming strategy i'm farming syndicate betrayal and i also farming with maven these synthesized Aper, uh, shaper elder and conqueror maps so also yeah some scarabs i don't care about about the uh, strong boxes or the shrines i don't they are just in because i have to put something in but um for the maven uh every favorite map is a different one with a good layout and this way i'm getting one to three additional bosses per map and these also can drop this and after a while you having a lot of them i spent or i farmed a lot of them already so this is pretty empty at the moment but it's it's a cool strategy you farm till you have a couple of those then you're running those with betrayal i'm using the betrayal scarab of intelligence to get a little bit more extra and in, uh, intelligence and after this you're doing the the uh what is it called the invitation at kirak and you getting the splinter and with 10 splinter you get a maven i saved up a little bit and had like 55 runs and this is what i got from it it's like one awakened cast on critical to area effect and almost like 14 divine only from conflicts yeah i sold everything and i did made around like 90 divine and if i have sold them one by one i think it would be 55 times 0.5 which is almost 30 divine so it was better to run them but i had, had luck with the cast on critical my gear oh well we have to finish this yeah that's what i do all the time i'm running this then this and at the end i'm doing the normal maven and i have a friend he did the uber maven it didn't work out well for him it was like minus 200 divine or something well sucks but we have to test it you know uh, every boss are new i think cyrus doesn't drop well i mean uber cyrus doesn't drop well at the moment i'm not 100 sure but this is what i do my farming strategy is simple betrayal with those maps then those maps and the invitations this is my gear i upgraded so far i made this myself which i was pretty lucky with it's 36 Crit multiplier is awesome, and of course it's eighty percent cost 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 and reservation multiplier. I'm sorry, a double implicit cover, not the implicits I want, but hey, it's a start. I made this one. I will make or well, want to make a um, what is it called simplex amulet sooner or later. So I'm not going to invest anything more in this. The armor, I want to get rid of the increased armor evasion and energy shield. That's why um, I have to remake the prefixes. But I think I will um, craft, you can apply an additional curse. Suffix cannot be changed. And then just using a wild chaos when I have enough money. Here I have to do the prefixes. Uh, but the, the suffix are done. The cloths, I want to make really nice cloths. But... Mm, that's why I don't want to spend anything in here and make them good. There, I have to do the prefix again. And in my tree, the only thing to mention is this one I bought already. And the other one for elemental resistance. So I'm capped. As you can see, I am. Uh, soon I will get more. I'm getting 5% each note when i am level up i get 50 more and then i'm going to use the massive thread of hope i bought already one and i have already this prismatic jewel ready waiting oh there it is i had a minus 20 you used the divine and i have a minus 10 now which was pretty lucky and the number is also the right one just waiting for it 
and with the farming strategy you also do or get a lot of scarabs this one are for my for me i'm not sure i have to sell those all but i'm pretty lazy and you get a ton tons of coffins i have to sell those too this is all full yeah i don't want to as i said i'm too lazy but it is what it is i hope you enjoyed it if so please leave a like and subscribe all i have to say is wish you good luck again